180. First, you'll need three egg whites. I always crack my eggs in a glass to make sure that there's no blood spots. The egg whites now have been whisked to their max. I can even do that and not worry about it. If you're lucky enough to have a wonderful Kenwood, exchange the whisker for the beater. But you can do the rest by hand. So we're going to add in the ground almonds and the caster sugar. Add one teaspoon of almond essence. In a few moments, you've created a must-have macaroon. The mixture's ready, and we're going to take a bowl with some water and a teaspoon of mixture. Put our hands in the bowl. There you go, George, you have a go as well. And literally roll. It's a really good bowl. chance to get the kids involved in the kitchen if you don't want to get your hands dirty. Place in your preheated oven to 180 for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Remove your must-have macaroons from the oven. You will see they were slightly golden on the top, ready to be decorated. The mixture will make approximately 30 macaroons. I placed 100 grams of dark chocolate in a bowl over a saucepan of hot water. This is called a bain marie. The reason I'm doing this is to make sure that the chocolate doesn't go sticky and thick. The chocolate has now melted and is lovely and glossy. Wish you were here. The smell is orgasmic. And on that note, Tracy is fabulous at decorating the must-have macaroons. I'm trying desperately not to laugh here. So get your orgasmic macaroons. And you did. I like to dip. Who can resist dark velvety chocolate? This gives them a really professional touch, I think. And just leave them on the paper to dry, otherwise you're going to get the chocolate sticking on something. Hopefully not your Pradas. Oh, I would just love to stick my finger in this chocolate now, but hey. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Soft, a little chewy on the outside, a hiss of chocolate, almonds, a lick of the finger, that is a must-have macaroon. Well Cheers. done, George. Well done. Bye. Till we eat again. Bye. For the Jewish Princess Cooks. <laughs>